Our schools are celebrating a successful first day despite some glitches that kicked off online. It was a big day for students and parents. Local 10 News reporter Hatzel Vela was there as one family experienced this new normal. Ready? Mm -hmm. Scoot back. It's the first day of kindergarten. Everybody can see me, Charlie. Olivia Mulligan me? starts school from her Coral Springs home online. The usually talkative five-year-old was taking it all in. Today it seems it was all about working out the technology kinks and setting up some rules. Does everyone know how to do that? Thumbs up if you know how. Her mom, Sarah, they're by her side. It's going to be very difficult and stressful, I can tell. <laughs> a single mom who says she feels lucky because she lives in a multi-generational home and her job is flexible. I couldn't even imagine the people who don't have help, how they're going to manage this. Sarah's youngest brother, Zachary, lives in the same household. The 15-year-old also started school online today. He's a sophomore at Coral Springs Charter. You, know, you gotta miss it, you know, seeing all your friends and like, you know, your favorite teachers. But I mean, that's just how it is. At a different home, 12 year old Zoe Gobi starts seventh grade at the same school as Zachary. Her mom is still concerned about in person learning. We are nervous of them um, being a carrier and bringing something home that we might, you know, unintentionally give to our mothers. Olivia, do you know what kind yeah. of um, it's you. animal Penelope is? A dinosaur. Back to Olivia, who later gave today's experience a thumbs up. It was good. Yeah. But nothing, she says, is like being in a real classroom. I get to go in when the coronavirus is gone. Well, Olivia may get her wish before the pandemic is over. That's because, as you've heard, both superintendents, Miami-Dade and Broward, have said that there is a likelihood that some children may return into the physical classroom in October. Reporting in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Hatsavella, Local 10 News.